<laughs> so I'm gonna use profanity. <laughs> Holy shit, I can sue for that. That's right, I said it, I said it. So, at some point in time in my life, I went to college. I actually went to college. I went to Villanova, great school, loved it, took out student loans, gotta pay the tuition. What can I say? Graduated, came in accounting. Guess what, they wanted me to pay the student loans back. It's like, oh, arm and a leg. I wrote the $10 million check month after month after month. I was like, can I get an arm and a leg back? No, keep paying your student loans. I paid them off. I paid them off. Woohoo! Nope, no party. Sorry. I thought they were paid off. They sent me the last statement to say it was paid off. I'm like, great. Then the phone rings. Student loan company, we need to talk to you. Great, let's talk. What's up? You calling to say congratulations? Well, before we talk to you, we need you to verify who you are. Give us the last four of your social. Oh, hell no, I don't know who you are. You called me. I'm not telling you my information. You called me. You won't verify, we can't talk to you. Send me a letter. No letter comes. Guess what they start to do instead? They start calling my house eight to 10 times a day. And I'm going, I paid off the loans. What could you possibly want? Eight to 10 times a day for over two months because I wouldn't verify who I was. I wanted to go the hell down to that office and beat the crap out of somebody. I wanted to go like, come look. You made me pay an arm and a leg and now you're calling me 10 times a day and you won't tell me why? I was on a mission. I was like, I'm suing, this is harassment, I'm taking you to court, we're gonna do it, I'm not taking these calls. Guess what they didn't know? That I had gone to law school. <laughs> and I did personal finance and consumer protection work. <gasps> Wrong chick to pick on. <laughs> I was the one, when I was practicing law, that you came to see if you had a problem with your credit report, with a debt collector, with your creditor. I was the one who represented you. You picked the wrong chick. <laughs> I knew that if I also won, I could get them to pay for a whole bunch of stuff. I knew they would have to pay for my attorney's fees and any physical ailments like headaches or if I had emotional distress. I can't sleep, I'm stressed. I need money from you guys. All of those things were in the law and I was gonna make them pay. Shame on y'all. So I called one of my friends who did what I did. Hey, you got a new client. If I couldn't have found my friend, I could have gone to NACA and got an attorney because guess what? There was a bunch of us across the country. They should have been really afraid. Good part about it is, I also happen to know that the law says if I win, they're paying for my attorney's fees. I knew that my friend would handle the case like a personal injury case. Contingency fee, I don't have to come out my pocket, let's get this case going. Yes. Call stop, and it turns into my cousin Vinny. They come in and have all kind of crazy things. It's her fault. She didn't verify. She should have called us back. She should have wrote a letter. What, what Twilight Zone did I just step into where I paid the loan off and I'm wrong? We did a marathon settlement discussion and at 8 p.m. at night, we settled. Yes. Well, I still had some other loans with them that were for law school. As part of the settlement, he paid those puppies off. And they paid my attorney's fees and they paid their attorney's fees. And it was all because of $75. <laughs> when I paid the loan off, there was $75 fee or some stupidness that was left over and that's why they were harassing me. That $75 problem, cost them $80,000.